This one right out of here. Home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. 19th home run for him on the season. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Five on Wednesday. Miner ready with a one two. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. I got it, Therefore, I got it, it is I got Pennington, it. and there's one away. Wellington Castillo get his first chance now trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second now a ball hit back up the middle over to his left he's up with it throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired three up three down for the Cubs they're down one nothing Rod Johnson. We'll see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. Rod Johnson. Now the first pitch here from Lester. And this is hit well towards the hole. And in the left field for a one-out hit. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Kendry's Morales will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. One out, one out. Okay, plays it too. Let's roll it, eh? Let's go, now here's the first pitch. Pitch outside the throw. It is far too late as he steals second with ease. You know, when the pitcher slide steps, he's going to get the ball to the catcher even quicker, and the guy still stole that base. That was great. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. The next pitch. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Now, is this one of those situations where you'd maybe think about taking third here as well? Well, you probably don't do it with nobody out. Yeah. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. And let's just train our camera on that runner beating off from second. He's watching that pitcher like a hawk. So once he sees that he's not paying attention to him, he just takes off. And the head first slide gets him into third just ahead of the throw. A man at third with one away. Here comes a 1-2. On oh, there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And here, I, I mean, if this is a high chopper to short, it's an RBI. If it's a lazy fly to right, it's an RBI. Point is, you've got to put the ball in play with a runner on third and one out. That's just basic execution that's lacking right there. Oh, baby, get your pitch up there. Come on, let's 
Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Right Wait for a good one. Drive it, kid. Lester ready, the 1-0. -oh. Swing and a line drive to left. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. That's a great example of one teammate picking up another there. You know, after the guy before him struck out, couldn't drive the run in, gets him off the hook here by knocking in the run with two away. Starlin Castro will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Three and two, here it is. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one can corral that one, base hit. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Rod Johnson will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Here's the first offering. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. They can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. The, the first thing a pitcher does when he walks out of the tunnel here at Wrigley, he'll take a look at those flags and, and see which way they are blowing. I mean. This place, it can play like two totally separate ballparks from one day to the next. Mike Old will get another shot. He homered his last time. 2-2. Two, two. He takes the changeup the other way out toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll round it and try for third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. J.D. Martinez will grab a bat and pinch hit now, and he'll be looking for at least a fly ball as he's got a runner at third and only one away. Starlin Castro will dig in with a very important insurance run 90 feet away at third. He's set, now the pitch. And looked like he jammed him that time a bit as it's hit in the air to center field. Johnson will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. Neil Ramirez will be summoned from the bullpen now, as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Rod Johnson will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this Johnson. inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. From the stretch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The next 0-2. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one, and it's right over his head. Oh, this is a bad error right here. He tries to square himself up to second base to get this double play started, but I don't know if his cleats got stuck or what, but this is not a very good throw, and he's going to get stuck with an E4. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Now, if you're Atlanta, you have got to come up with a key hit here. Now, that's been missing. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. As Drubal Cabrera will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. First pitch on the way. And, boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. That's not a bad idea right there. Take a pitch. 
Make sure you get a good look at him and what he's throwing. And maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound. The throw to first is going to be in time. And the Braves rally comes up short as that's out number three. Two left for Atlanta. Still down by a count of four to two. So a good ball game is what we just watched. With runs hard to come by, it makes it much easier to find our difference maker. And this was the man, no doubt. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. from the windy city of Chicago. There's a beautiful look at fabled Wrigley Field. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the East-leading Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. And as we close in on first pitch, there you get a look at the starting lineups this afternoon. Rod Johnson will stride in now. 